Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. So today is actually election day in Jamaica, so the voting is going on. You know, I got up really early this morning because I missed the the um the update, right? The COVID update, the number. So I got up early and I was scrolling through social media, right? And I saw that the cases were what it was. Cases are still high. So clearly we have some form of community spread in jamaica right i don't think the officials have said that yet to be clear because i guess they don't want people to panic however today is election day so it's a general election so it's the pnp up against the jlp there are some other third parties but we know that third parties really don't survive in jamaica so yeah, <laughs> let me not even kiss my teeth and then there was a JPP, but them they said that they're not contesting the elections, right? And I know that Ras Asta Black is always there, plus some other persons. There's Peter Shan running as an independent in Norway St. Anne, and then there is Rowan Chang, kinda weird, running in central Manchester against the performance boss Peter Bunting and this the female David that I call him Rhoda Moy Crawford. Alright, so this morning I got up, I did my workout. Yes, I am working out because I gained 20 pounds <laughs> during quarantine and I'm trying to lose it. I've lost 12 pounds already, so eight more pounds to go. And I have not been dieting, just strictly exercise once workout in the morning. Actually, it's over two months, I lost 12 pounds over two months. It's slow, but at least I'm taking it up because look here, I can't do the dieting thing. Because if you're a big man like me, I'm going to eat bush. <laughs> no, I can't live so. I'm not eating rice. I'm not a dumpling person. So, me love rice. So, if you can see I'm not eating rice, um, mm -mm 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 I can't manage that so the diet thingy thingy no really depend on me and I've been drinking more water because I, I wasn't a water person either but I'm used to have a force to drink water but now I'm trying as best as possible to drink as much water as I can because water is very essential to your life and to your body's development and functioning right water is very important so I got up with my morning chores, right? Oh, yeah, my awesome brother fixed one pipe for me. <laughs> that pipe was dripping, me put the check tape on it, but apparently, um, it never worked. It come and put on it, was working fine, and then little after it started trip again. So, I'm gonna shout him back to come look on it for me. Zin, so my father, I convinced my father to come out with me and vote because my father and my brother said they're not voting, right? However, you know, I convinced them to go, go and vote. I don't know if my brother has voted as yet, but I went with my father. Right, so when we went out there now, we found the PD, well, yeah. See there? So I voted. Yes, I voted. And I am in East Central St. Catherine. So this is the constituency with the incumbent um, Alando Terry Long for the JLP and then Raymond Price for the PNP. So I went out and vote. So this is considered a uh, battleground, right? Because Terry Long won by less than 500 votes. So this is a battleground seat, right? It's a newly created seat. It was first won by Arnaldo Brown for the PNP by over 500 votes and then he was defeated by Terry Long in 2016 by less than 500 votes so this time it's a dog fight between Terry Long and Raymond Price Terry Long though is the overwhelming favorite right because there are pockets of strong JLP um, areas in this constituency but let us see let's see the independent voters will decide because the PNP has their base and the JLP has its base as well so let us see so I went out to vote I was actually taken to the polling station by a friend of mine right him on the chicken business that a Chevron aka Chucky the chicken business that you see I did a video on right he is the actual owner of that business right and he also has a business a loan business called loan tech as well so I saw him and he brought me to the polling station we went up we went on the one of the tent and they told you what PD you're voting in and then we went up my father is considered elderly right he's in his 70s so he was brought up right up to the front and i went in with him when he went in our pd it was empty so he went in and he voted mark you may have to remind him and say um 
Hello, Mr. Suarez. Remember where you must put the X, right? <laughs> Both of us like bust out a laugh car. I have to make sure, right? Yes, I have to make sure. Some say, remember where you must put the X, right? So he went in and he voted and he stood outside and he waited for me. I went in as well. Oh, before we go in at the gate, the sanitize your hands. We were sanitized one time, right? When we came into the gate to vote, there was a main gate. We walked through, then the gate now to go into the room to vote. You are sanitized. Everybody had on their mask in there, except the man at the gate. The man at the gate had, it as, had his mask underneath his chin. I mean, I think it's supposed to go, so everybody's supposed to have on their mask. His mask was underneath his chin. I mean, I think that's safe. Right, and in the right at the main gate, there's an interacting with people. But I guess because once you're in the line, you're supposed to have on your mask. But I don't think him not for Abitan because he could have the virus and he's asymptomatic and all of that talking and thing probably can get people infected. You get to me, I say? But yeah, anyway, when we reach now to go in, we were sanitized. They asked for your name and I gave them my ID. They look at the ID and the presiding officer shout out the number that is attached to my name so the indoor the two indoor agents from jlp and pnp could hear the poll clerk actually wrote in the book the number my name and so forth they wrote in a book then he, he showed me the ballot and he folded it and showed me where how oh, i must fold it to give it back to him right and he gave them a serial number i gave the indoor agents a serial number i'm assuming that that is what the poll clerk also wrote up so i went there in the box and I put my ex, right? I make sure I set my ex right beside my candidate car. I'm not in on a joking. I'm serious about my voting. That rhyme. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> I'm not in a joking. I'm serious about my voting. So I voted. Folded the ballot. Came back, right? But then now I was looking at something else and the presiding officer said, Look at me. You have to ensure that I actually put the ballot in the box. But Chino said the ballot are going in. I never did really pre him that much, right? And he folded the ballot. I think he tore off a piece of it. I don't know what that was for. And put it in the box. Right? And then now they said for me to dip my finger. I dip my finger like this. And if I wanted all of my finger to go in it where the whole of my finger stained. Just want to say right here sustain and around here sustain. And the presiding officer was telling me to dip again. But the poll clerk said, no, my hand is, my finger is stained enough so I can go. Oh, before I actually get the ballot and thing, they had this blue light. I don't know if it's a UV, what them call a light there, right, that they put over my fingers to see if any ink was on it. Yes, they did that to see if any ink was on it. So they said, no ink, so they sent me to vote. They gave me the ballot and sent me to vote. When I came out now, I heard somebody telling my father that he could not stand near the door and wait because he had already voted he was supposed to wait outside and he was telling them that he was waiting on his son right but then now as my father was going to go out i came out and i said yo i'm ready and then the man with his mask underneath his chin was saying to my father your son this and my father said yeah man and the son but apparently because my father have one whole leap away yes like him you want a football team I have to tell the man, say, I'm the little one, man, I'm the last one. And I must say, oh, because me know the other one and him bigger than you. I must say, yeah, because uh, me are the small one. Then when we came outside now, we saw somebody that we knew some of my father's friends and they were out there chatting and laughing. And then they called somebody to take us back home because they say, yo, King Marlow. Because that's him name in the streets you now because him only and him go like him young. Right? Because I'm a bully for young friend. And say yo King Marlow and call him <laughs> and we got in the car and we went back home so I think we were out there for like about 15 minutes because our, there wasn't our, any line for our PD so we were there like about 15 minutes but the, the, the process was kind of slow man I was standing there and my father went in and me think them could have Move a little faster. I don't know if it is because of the social distancing. You get to me and say, them have to wait till him exit the room before I can go in. Them little way there. You get to me and say, no, I think the process could have moved a little faster. So if you are thinking about going to vote, I am probably scared because of social, because of COVID. 
Yeah, you think they probably no social distancing now, go on. Mark, you people in the line, they're not really six feet apart, you know. But you know, there's a little space between each of them. In the line, and almost everybody, let me not say almost everybody that I saw, in the line had on a mask except I said the one person at the gate. Right, there was a police officer in the school to where I went to vote and his mask was here because he was talking to one of the EOJ workers about horse racing because I don't know if she has some idea about horse racing but um, she did tell him oh him can bet and oh him can win and he asked her some other question and his mask was here and that's the problem we have we have to understand so we have to learn to talk in the mask and listen because you know some people take down the mask for ear where people are saying because I never know say the mask over your ears but yeah People need to wear their mask. Wear their mask and show that it covers your, your mouth and your nose. Not just over your mouth or under your chin or over your forehead or upon one in your ears. It should cover your mouth and your nose to protect yourself and to protect others. Guys, if you are going out to vote, remember to sanitize. Carry your sanitizer. Sanitize. Wear your mask and practice social distancing. Alright, thank you guys for watching and let's see you tonight. Who will come out on top? Polls close at 5 o'clock. You know, by 5.30, the vote should start coming in on TV. And I guess tonight, after the polls, I'll make a review and then post it in the morning. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.